So today is a special day for me. It's my fucking birthday, yes. I'm actually wearing new clothes, believe it or not. New clothes, so it's my birthday and also it's a refeed day. Yes. Best of both worlds. Gonna take you through my day, see what we get up to as it's my birthday. If anyone asking, I'm 22, looking about, I don't even know, 32. <laughs> I've got another 10 years of me. Briefly day, we are going in today, which is good. Unfortunately, I'm not eating crazy fucking pizzas or anything like that. We eat nothing like that, unfortunately. It's just a case of what I pretty much doing last week, but maybe influencing different foods and stuff like that. And we're also going paintballing, which was sick. I can't wait to do that. That should be good. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. If we can get 500 likes on my birthday, that would be sick. So that my, that's your that's my birthday present from you guys. That would that would be greatly appreciated. I'm waffling. Let's get on with this fucking video. Rule number one is coming up. Macros, by the way, same as before. 500 gram of carbs. <laughs> 40 grams of fat. Keeping fat really low. Want to utilize carbohydrate, and we're keeping uh, protein really low as well at 200. Well, not really low, but low for me. I normally have 250. So at the moment, it's at 200. And obviously, like I said, we don't need to utilize protein on this specific day as much as what we need to use, utilize carbohydrates. So yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy. And let's get this fucking video started, mate. Adding in 300 milliliters of egg whites. 304, fuck it, I've got to spoon it out. I'm, bit, I'm picky like this, so this is what I do when it comes to overspilling on this. Get your little spoon in there, and you just plop it back in there like that. Seasonings of choice, obviously paprika and our grand cumin. And what we're gonna do is obviously, this is one from AJ, we're gonna sprinkle it in there like that. And then we're gonna sprinkle our cumin in like that. And then what we're gonna do, looks like that. And then we're gonna give it a good old stir. Just stir it up. Oh, this, this is a game changer, I tell you. This just makes everything, or well, the taste of egg whites. I'm not saying that the taste is bad, but oh, it just makes it even better. A little bit of a stir like that, and it should just look like a bit of diarrhea. Absolutely paying, let me tell you that. Mushrooms are in. So my meal one looks like this. We have 300 milliliters of egg white, squirted a little bit of mustard and a little bit of ketchup on there as well. Got some mushrooms in there as well. Keep saying as well. Why the fuck do I keep saying that? We also have two of the cinnamon and raisin bagel fins. Pretty much the main reason I went for fins. I had a bagel last time. It didn't fucking fill me up. I was starving afterwards. Whereas if I have four fins, I know that's going to kind of psychologically fill me up. So it's all about up here. I can't wait. Let me, let me, let me have a little taste test live on camera of a bagel. Cinnamon and raisin and pang. Oh dear. If that's not a birthday present, I don't know what is. Anything makes me happy right now, I tell you. Anything different makes me a little bit happy. Macros will probably be on the screen. Bit amount of protein, bit amount of carbohydrates, and fat to keep to the minimal at the moment. Is my pre paintballing meal. Get some carbohydrates in me, so I'm gonna run about and just. Boom, boom, boom. Can't fucking wait. Ain't been paintballing in about 10 years, so that should be good. Come on, not 10 years, probably about. I don't know, chat shit. Sucks wise as well, we're having one vitamin D tablet from Nutri Advance, 5,000 5, IU I should say. We're also having 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, which is from bog powders as well. Midway through our paintballing session, I'm actually feeling quite lethargic. I'm enjoying it, but a little bit tired if I'm honest with you, from just dieting, I think. I think the diet is getting to me a little bit. Instead of having what they hand out is the, the burgers, I am having, I am having jasmine rice, my packet of jasmine rice, and I'm also having this fridge John West tuna shit here. I have no idea what the macros are, but I will work it out and put it on the screen. We've got some ketchup that I brought with me. We also got some mustard, and that's our setup for our lunchtime. Absolutely dry as anything. <laughs> I want to cry. I'll give you a taste test of this dryness, this gooey dryness. <laughs> It just don't taste good. There's not even, I can't even, I'm literally just swallowing it. Really? I'm not even taking a bite, I'm swallowing it. Fast. What's the rice taste like? Soggy. 
guys so basically after yesterday's paintballing i did go to the gym and stuff like that but if i'm honest with you i didn't get as much footage throughout my birthday as well as much as what i wanted to so pretty much it's the next day so it's monday today and we're pretty much going to start fresh from there i did my cardio this morning so i did my fasted cardio which i might implement in this video i haven't got a clue i also had the pretty much the same meal which i had for meal number one so i had 300 milliliters of egg whites 100 grams of mushrooms and i had two cinnamon and raisin bagel now I'm back home to do some PT work. What I do is I just come back and forth from my missus and do some PT work. A little bit expensive, like petrol wise. I'm spending like 60 quid a week on petrol at the moment, if I'm honest with you. So, you know, when you've got to do stuff like this, you just simply do it. It's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Had a really good birthday. So thank you for everyone that sent me birthday wishes and stuff like that. Really actually overwhelming. I had like 150 unread DMs on my Instagram, which for me is fucking uh, mind blowing. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who actually said happy birthday. And it's quite shocking because people that I've never met like you guys that watch me wish me happy birthday and my own friends that I know for years and years and years didn't even bother to make the effort and it just goes to show like, keep your circle tight because you'll be quite surprised when how how your actual friends will support you and whether they'll stick around and stuff like that and in my scenario um, I don't have a lot of friends I'll be honest with you my only friend at the moment is probably my girlfriend <laughs> which is I'm, I'm very grateful that she's in my life right now because if I didn't have her whilst being on prep I would be one lonely fucker because I don't see any of my mates outside of the gym i don't see anyone else if i'm honest with you i don't spend time with anyone part of pt work which he's my mate and also getting my hair cut he's my mate as well that's the only time i really speak to so-called mates i could make more of an effort but no one makes an effort with me man it works both ways sometimes i know i'm a little bit selfish and stuff like that when it comes to it at the end of the day i mean yeah i don't know what i'm rambling on here but it just goes to show that people that i've never met across the world that watch my videos and say keep up the good work you're smashing prep wish me more happy birthday than more my actual mates do fuck them that's what i say Fuck those cunts. That's why I keep my that's why I keep my circle small because if people are not willing to support me with what I do, then fuck them. That's what I say. Fuck you. You watching this, you cunt. Fuck off. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. 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 There he is. Hi. I've missed you so much. I missed you so much. You good? Oh, you're not interested? You're not interested? Good boy? You've been good. He's a good boy. On the way home, I picked up this is a combo. Absolute combo. Now, oh, well, that is fucking. <laughs> Which one am I gonna have first? I was gonna say I'm having this one first. Well, I'm definitely having this one first because it's gonna fizz up like a motherfucker. I'm gonna try the Pepsi Max Raspberry, is it? I believe that's just came out. I'll give that a taste test in my next video. This is a combo. I always save the best till last. So, if anything, I was probably gonna have this last for sure. If I had a roast dinner, now talk about roast dinners, oh, I'd love a roast dinner. Veg first, potato, then the meat, then the Yorkshire pudding. That's how I do things. Things. People might be looking going, that's fucking disgusting, George. Save the best till last. Save the meat. You'll go, the meat's cold, George. The meat's cold. That's why you have hot gravy on the side just to pour on top. Anyway, stop talking about food and stuff like that. Right. <sighs> oh, it's just what I need. And the weather's peng as well. Like fizzy drinks on a peng day. Oh, game changer. One. If you're throwing on, come on. I just, oh, this, is, this is so. This is, Dun, 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 dun. You already know what time it is. I don't think I'll ever change this meal if I'm honest with you. Oats just work so well with me. Uh, fantastic carbohydrate. Obviously a little bit of fat to them. Well, my fat's on the reefy day. I normally have a little bit of dark chocolate um, when it's not my reefy day. As it's a reefy day, we are keeping fats low. We want to prioritize carbohydrates. So this is a very good meal which sits quite comfortably with me. I will eat this roughly about 90 minutes before I go to the gym and train. Personal preference, I just find that, you know, experiment with your times. I've said this fucking fucking, oh, I don't even know how many times I've said this, but experiment with your timings. You might work best off uh, an hour after eating. You might work best off an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, who knows. 30 minutes, some people do 30 minutes. Find that out for yourself is my advice. Again, oat berry sit very comfortably with me, digest quite nice and steadily. My blood sugar levels don't elevate, I should say, causing me to have all this crazy burst of energy. Then midway through my session, they start dipping, which is something we don't want to do. We don't want to go hyperglycemic, I think it's called. That's the main reason as to why I have oat Again, whey protein, whey isolate, chocolate cookies from bulk powders. People message me going, George, I know you use um, whey protein from bulk powders, but what flavour do you use? Well, you'd fucking know, because every time I bloody say it, you know, oh, 
Pink Himalayan salt. Why pink Himalayan salt? Do you know what's the difference between table salt? More minerals, simple, um, and that's pretty much it. Nothing else to say about that. Gonna watch some YouTube, do some check-ins, go for maybe a little bit of a walk with the dog just to have uh, that time with the dog man, get some steps in, and then we're gonna go and hit a push session. So yeah, meal two, sitting on my knees. It's not good, I tell ya. Crikey, look at that size of that motherfucker. Hello, you. Go on. <laughs> Max, what do you think of that motherfucker? Look, you eat you. He eat you. So again, like I said in my previous video, or one of my previous videos, struggling to switch off, thinking, fuck, I could do more output, I could do this, I could do that. But a positive from this anyway, a pre-workout walk allows me to kind of clear my head, especially from like a work standpoint, because when you work with people, it's very much you're thinking about them quite often and quite frequently. And that takes away that takes away from thinking about yourself a little bit. Although, don't get me wrong, I think thinking about yourself obviously is important, but you don't do it as often as sometimes what you would like to. So what this allows me to do is allows me to kind of wind down, I think, about right this is my time now this is a couple of hours of the day which i can focus on myself but have a little think about what i'm going to do throughout the session look through back like and think about what i did previously and think right this is what i'm going to do today plan everything out and kind of give me that headspace there are positives and there's always negatives everything there he is trailing behind as usual needs to keep up i'm marching i tell you bloody marching today i'm, I'm in the london muscle as well i'm not a, a full power um i spent all year down low um, me, and, me and James have a. He's got some serious. In for a push rotation. This rotation involves incline dumbbell press and high incline dumbbell press and a dip variation, which is normal. Uh, standard dip, so that's dip and station, whatever you want to fucking call it. But yeah, really up for the session today. As usual, my energy or my psych psychological aspect when I'm on a refeed, I just feel a lot more better. I don't know why, I just feel good. Really expecting to hit some good numbers today. I think with my pushing movements, especially when being in a deficit, they, they always take a hit. It just is kind of what it is. If I can, I'm, I'm trying my best to maintain these numbers now, which I have got, because ideally, if I continuously get in loose strength, you know, from a performance aspect, it's not good. And also from a hypertrophy perspective, it's definitely not good as either. So really looking forward to it. Took a pre-workout. I didn't take a pre-workout on legs yesterday because it was just too late. And I don't want to be taking pre-workouts at six o'clock in the evening because I'll be fucking gurning at half past nine at night, you know, and that's not good. My cap off for like pre-workouts is about three o'clock. I don't like taking caffeine. Well, caffeine pre-workouts after um, three o'clock just because I know I won't sleep that night. Going in, nuts. Come on, George! Fucking sort it out, son, you little boy. So a quick one before I went in. I've had, bit, well, I had wrist issues about, you know, four weeks ago. You know, stop. I had, <laughs> had wrist issues about four weeks ago, causing some, like, just clicking. Just when I had a dumbbell in my hand, it just felt awful, especially in my left side. Got some uh, wrist wrap. Game changer. Four weeks later, no issues. Pain has gone down. Now, when it comes to stuff like this, like, you see people relying on a fucking belt, relying on knee sleeves, knee wraps, wraps, um, wrist wraps. They rely on all of it, all the time. And that's really something you don't want to be doing because you actually want your grip to get stronger. You start relying on fucking... Knee sleeves, you take them knee sleeves off, I promise you, you won't be able to do as much weight. And I've always said, make the exercises as hard as you possibly can. Don't always look for the easy route, because too many of us want to look for that easy route and think, oh, you know what, if I had knee sleeves, I can add 10 kilos to my hack squat. What the fuck, you know, get get them off, especially if we're doing like a platey side, you do not need knee sleeves. So I've been using these at the moment just on my top set. So just on my top movements, which I'm thinking, fuck me, I, I need these because it's giving me some sort of pain. And these really have helped, like I've noticed my wrist stability it just felt a little bit better because it was clicking left, right and centre and it was a bit annoying. So last time I was at this gym doing the session, I was 159 pounds. Now I'm 153 pounds. So on my top set on the incline dumbbell press, I was one rep off what I did previously. So was that progress? Uh, I don't feel like progress if I'm honest with you. I guess it is as I'm 
lighter and nearly the same strength. Um, pressing has always been, I mean, when I suck down, pressing always takes a hit for me. I'm not very good at it either. Um, it's my weakness, it's by far my weakness is like, I've been thinking I lift in five years and I'm only able to incline press now to 37.5 kilos, but I guess at, you know, 70 kilos, whatever it is, is not too bad. High incline was second, that is one of my weakest movements ever. I can't, I, I've neglected it for so long that I'm just not very good at it. I don't like going all the way up, like a, a, like a shoulder press, I like a more of a high incline shoulder press. The main reason why I don't go high is it, it just hurts my rotator cuffs and it's just an awkward way of pressing for me. So I go a little bit lower, it allows me to get a little bit upper chest in as well while I'm at it. Again, every single press I'm doing, retraction of the scapula. So even on a shoulder press, I'm retracting my scapula. I'm staying in that position. And again, fullest range of motion. Take it through the hardest point. The, getting out of a hole on any movement is the hardest bit. So make sure you take it there. Right, so I pray to God you can see me. Post-workout meal, we're on the go because I'm going back up to my Mrs. house. So we're having 125 grams of Frosty! Yeah! <laughs> I love Frosties. We're also having is, uh, 25 grams of protein from my uh, whey isolate. 25 grams of whey isolate. The milk I've used is the unroasted almond... Uh, unroasted almond... Un Unroasted almond unsweetened milk. How fucking hard was that for me to say? 13 calories per 100 milliliters, which is okay for me. I don't mind the taste of almond milk. It, it, it just tastes of not much. Got a bit of a nutty kick to it. Mix that in. I'm going to pour this over my Frosties. Then we're going to have six Hello rice cakes. Macros have probably been on the screen already. That is going to be my post-workout meal. And I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm heading to Pepe's now because my missus wants a Pepe's. She is a very lucky girl because I'm on prep. And if you've been following me since before prep, I used to bang Pepe's left, right and centre. Like I'm talking about four or five times a week sometimes. We used to bang it every weekend. Every time we see each other, we were like, fuck it, should we get Pepe's? We used to absolutely love it. And for me now, not having Pepe's, well, I haven't had Pepe's for what, 12 weeks? Hard. Very hard. I, I'm alright actually. I'm not too bothered about it. Going to get her uh, Pepe's and taking it to her is hard. It is fucking hard, but it is what it is. She's lucky I'm still with her. I'm only joking. I'm lucky I'm still with her, to be fair. And here we have it. Moment of truth. Oh, yes. Of course, as I'm on a diet phase I'm gonna give you a live taste test of course I have to mmm that's fantastic and swallow Ow. she is one lucky lucky girl <laughs> Oh dear. You know I'm a good boyfriend when you do this type of stuff for your missus. Anyone else, I'd fucking tell them, go away, do one. My battery's on low as well, so that's not good. But yep, nothing else to say about it. It smells, it smells fucking terrific. Um, and what I have here is 250 millilitres of egg white. What I've done is I've obviously put some paprika and cumin and I've given it a good old stir. And once you've gave it a good old stir, you can apply it into your pan. Just like that. Rule number four looks like this. 250 milliliters of egg whites and we have 250 grams of the Uncle Ben's long grain rice. Long grain rice. We also have our standard, you know, the usual setup. You might be thinking, George, where is the veg, son? Where is the veg? Remember, we are refeeding. We don't want to add any more stress. I mean, for 500 grams of carbohydrates, you might be seeing it going, oh, I do that daily. I do that every single day, George. No excuses. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I don't. So I don't have 
500 gram of carbs like some lucky individuals every single day so for me to add any more stress because we're trying to manage we're trying to keep our digestion absolutely pitch perfect when refeeding we don't want to irritate it anymore and implementing any more veg or any veg at all really is going to honestly i'm not saying it will actually really affect my digestion but I really want to try and keep it to a minimal. I really want to utilize these carbohydrates and actually get the benefit of a refeed instead of, you know, there's a lot of fiber and veg, has to break down, takes a little bit longer to break down. Don't want no bloating after I've ate and all that kind of shit. So yeah, that's the main reason why if I'm honest with you. Teaspoon trick as well, you know, more mouthfuls, gonna fill ourselves up a little bit more. Honestly, this is the best stuff you'll ever use. Literally apply this to the bull sack and let your missus smell it and you're in the game chat. Actually, it's not even this one. It's probably this one. I've got my blue light, but I can't even see the color of it. This absolutely bangs creamy vanilla and raspberry. You apply that to your ball sack, your missus will absolutely fucking love you. I swear, if she goes down on you, she's gonna have a treat. This is peng. Get this, it's like a pound in Tesco's. Final, 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 final meal of the day. Bam, 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 bam. You already know it's oats, 150 gram of oats. 35 grams of whey isolate again am i adding a little bit of salt also supplement wise you already know support neuromax standard kind of stuff i take that or i drink that i should say with my last meal and then what i'll do with my magnesium on my zinc half an hour before i go to bed so um, i'll eat this and pretty much then have the magnesium and the zinc but apart from that that is pretty much what the refeed is looking like same old kind of shit really keeping it very consistent with what i'm eating because ideally i don't want to be changing food sources which i haven't had fucking 12 weeks what is the point in that no i want to find out i want to keep my foods very consistent when it comes to your off seasons don't get me wrong experiment with your food intake experiment find what works best for you because there's different foods out there which potentially could work a lot better for you but when you're in a contest prep phase you don't want to be playing with those variables it's like people having fucking burger and chips pre-show you don't know what's going to happen like if you've deprived yourself for from those foods for that long why would you take that risk uh, and start implementing burger and fry one day out before a show because you don't know what's going to what, what effect that food's going to have on your system yeah keeping it smart keeping it simple keeping it what i know and that seems to be working man like i'm getting lean and i'm just ticking the old boxes like i always say refeed done comment down below cup if you've watched the whole thing this is a child's cup i have no idea why i've got this but this video is 22 minutes long which is a long time so make sure you comment down below cup if you've watched the whole thing appreciate everyone that watches me there'll be more videos coming out this week just be on the lookout for them and i appreciate everyone that watched me sort your fucking life i've already said that bye 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 bye